What's up guys, today is going to be an awesome video, it's going to be a very useful one for you. Me! When... Hello? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, right, okay, yeah, no problem. Okay, and that, sorry, that's Wednesday, right? I haven't got the calendar in front of me right now. Okay, perfect. Okay, cool. Brilliant. Thank you. No problem, bye. Right. Anyway, as I was saying before, I was really interrupted, she was a lovely lady. When I started off with Final Cut Pro, I, you know, really struggled with storage on my laptop, and I find that that is like a very significant point to address. For trying to do a video. Yeah, so I struggled for months trying to figure out how to clear space from Final Cut Pro. It really was taking up a significant amount, and so much so I couldn't even edit a photo or even a video. I couldn't start one, so um, I couldn't figure it out. I probably should have looked online, but anyway, I found a very simple method of clearing space so you guys can continue making photos, making videos. You don't make photos. <laughs> I'm gonna jump into my laptop right now, but first we've got to roll the intro, so I'll see you on the other side. Okie dokie, let's get into it. G'day. I'm now on my nice monitor. It's not mine, it's my dad's, but I can use it. Anyway, so first of all, open up Final Cut Pro. So this is my most recent video. Again saying this, I only do this once a video has been uploaded or I'm 100% sure that the video is complete and perfect and I couldn't have done any better. This video here is my Bratch video that I've just uploaded. I actually think it's probably one of the most cinematic videos I've made, so go check it out, links in the description and up here in the information box. Delete that. We then go up here to this little icon up here where all of our media has been imported. So we click on one of them, Command A, select all of them, double click, move to trash. Okay. I usually sometimes just delete the project as well because it, you know, when I go to create a video, it's nice to know that I've just got that on my mind. I can multitask, but I'm not very good. Saying that, I've also got dyslexia. There's not an excuse that kids are right, do well in school. So, yeah, deleted the video, deleted the content within Final Cut Pro, and now we open up a finder. It would usually be called Video 2018 something something something, but if you're 2019, it'd be Video 2019, etc. etc. But it usually has GMT plus 8.FCP bundle. But as you can see here, it's got 29.79 gigabytes worth of storage. 50.98 gigabytes available of 250 gigabytes. So double click, show package contents, and you, you're shown with this screen. Usually I just check everything just in case. So as async, copying, async, copying, temp, trash. Here we go, trash, so I don't need that because I just don't need any of that video. So all you need to do, empty, empty trash, sorted. We're now at 64.19 gigabytes of available data. Oh, storage, keep on saying data, very frustrating. So that was it for that video, guys. That is how I easily clear space from Final Cut Pro 10. This video is not for all of you. I hope that explains it pretty well. But yeah, that's the video and I'll see you in the next one.